Okay, so the uh, the big moment has arrived. We're moving on to the electronics, which I must admit is probably the bit I'm most apprehensive or unsure about. Um, when I upgraded the electronics for the Monster Beetle, the guy in the shop just opened the packages, connected it all together very quickly. He didn't really tell me what was going on, so we'll see how this goes. I've got the instruction manual here, just to remind you, it's what the the buggy's looking like. And then all the innards in here, this is where the battery's going to go, and this is where your speed controller and an and antenna and servo are going to go. So they're the next few steps. This video, I think we're just going to be working this out. So let's translate what's going on here into some of the things we've got. So we've got the controller. Uh, need to open that. Got the four batteries of the controller. Charged battery um, for the car. Here is the electronic speed controller that comes with the car. Um, it has, let's see, it has the on off switch. It has a little plug that goes into the antenna, I believe, and then it's got a few connectors. That's for the battery and a few connectors for the motor. We only need two of them because our motor is a, um, a brushed motor, not a brushless motor, um, which I'm not too sure on the difference. So, what I know is brushless is better, I believe. But anyway, we won't go there. Here's the servo. Um, I've found and cut out, according to this diagram, uh, what one I need. Uh, because it depends on the type of servo you need as to what connector you need. Here we are, a little bit more of an explanation down here. Um, whether you have a, a Tamiya or Futaba servo compared to one of these other ones, one of the other manufacturers. I need to work out what screw I need. For this we're going to be cracking into the the parts bag, part C. So let's go and do that now. Haven't haven't looked into here yet. We've got a few, a few cable ties. Uh, this is a rubber flex switch, I imagine we'll be going over the on-off switch, which is on the ECU. And then a couple of bags, oh, so some double-sided tape to stick things down. And some screw bags, here are the split pins used to connect the body to the uh, car when we have sprayed. Another little bag of screws. So, a few things to be getting on with. I'm going to try and kind of connect it up, I'll take you with... Uh, along the way. The uh, the speed controller incidentally here came with its own little instruction manual which uh, which looks like this which uh, my Japanese isn't too good but fortunately on the other side there is a bit in you uh, all the instructions for in UK <laughs> I mean I've had a look at this it's still pretty confusing so I'm kind of going to do what most guys probably do, which is just plug it in, and um, then we'll troubleshoot it if it doesn't work. Okay. Just very quickly here, I've I've unboxed the handset, and what you can see is is the handset there, and then this little beauty is the receiver. So we've got the transmitter, and we've got the receiver, and this is where a few things are going to be plugged in. The servo is going to be plugged in there and the um, ES, electronic speed controller, ESC. We keep getting it confused, but that goes in there. The one thing I did read on that rather complicated instruction manual from the ESC is that that goes into channel two. The servo is then, I guess, gonna go into channel one or three to be worked out. Let's wait and see. Just another quick little update, um, as well as this confusing Ish looking diagram just down the side here in English or in, in German or French if you're so inclined gives you some pretty simple order in what to do it so install the batteries uh, in the handset so there's number one number two there is extend the receiver antenna connect the charge battery switch on transmitter I'm gonna, just going to run through some of that now and then um, we'll see how we go follow the instructions to the point where the battery is connected we've connected the electronic speed the uh, controller into the receiver. There is nowhere that I can see on any bit of reading anywhere and I've had a decent look to tell me what channel one or three the servo goes into. Fortunately we already have a working remote control car connected up courtesy of the uh, 
the guy in the shop and it's obviously, well this one, channel 2 goes into the ESC and then channel 1 goes to the servo, so I'm going to follow the same pattern. Okay, after not too much time, a little bit of troubleshooting, this is fairly exciting I would say, so transmitter turned on, receiver turned on, servo connected, here we go, so we have motion, the servo is working, and I just thought for a bit of fun I'd connect up the, the motor, see if it worked, here we go. She lives, so um, very exciting step, so that's, um, that's good, uh, I'm pleased about that. Last little test here, the servo horn is on, so we're just going to give it a little test, and she's working nice. Okay, I've just uh, disconnected everything all again, so um, I'm going to probably stop this video here and I'll, I'll see how much more what the few next steps look like and maybe do another one.